Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. If you are new to this video series, please subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell icon. Then only you will get notified for each video upload. In this video, we are going to learn about Pandas data frame. We know very well, in previous topic we learnt about series that is a single column. Now data frame means when you club more than one series which will form a data frame and data frame is a multi-dimensional data structure you can imagine data frame like an excel sheet or a sql table representation so first we will create the data frame for that we have to import the pandas alias pd we have imported the pandas going forward we can use pd in the place of pandas first we will create the empty data frame so data frame df equal to pd capital d data frame if we run this empty data frame is created and empty columns and the index also empty so this is how we will create the empty data frame now we will create the data frame from the list once again I am using the students marks data set so we have 10 students and their respective marks is mentioned in the list list means within the square bracket now same way df equal to pd dot capital D data frame and pass the variable this variable contains the data now printed you can see all the 10 marks are displayed then to each mark the respective index values are assigned always the index value starts from 0 till 9 one more example we have a list which is saved in the variable students to the each student name the respective marks are mentioned df equal to pd dot data frame then we know the variable students print df so the column 0 is nothing but this one the name and column 1 is the mark instead of this 0 and 1 we can rename it so just one more parameter it is columns equal to within the square bracket name first column name then marks now let's execute see the column name has been replaced and our results look like this one more example here the marks is mentioned as an integer for example if i want that as a float means in third parameter d type equal to float same program i'm just adding one more parameter d type now the result look like this it means you can use the decimal point like 65.5 50.28 the decimal points will be accepted from now so this is how we will create the data frame from the list so remember three parameters first parameter the data second parameter column names and third parameter data type next we will learn how to create the data frame from numpy it means we have to import the numpy package import numpy as np tf equal to pd dot data frame np dot array i am mentioning some random marks comma columns equal to max mark print df if you want to create a data frame using numpy this is how you have to mention it if we compare this with the previous example the first argument we pass here as a list and here we pass it as a numpy rest of the arguments remains the same now we will learn how to create from dictionary actually there are many ways to create a data frame from the scratch but i will personally suggest the best or the great option just use the simple dictionary it has a lot of advantage so variable name students and you know very well dictionary will be mentioned within the curly braces and we have to give the value as 
key and value pair all these concepts I have already covered in the Python basics you just look those videos the key name and its value five names and next column name is max mark and uh, respective values are mentioned so df equal to pd dot data frame and pass this variable print df so we got the output for the name the respective marks are mentioned and the index values are assigned one more example we know very well by default the index value starts from zero but we have additional feature we can update the index value same example here one more argument mention index equal to within the square bracket you know very well totally five values it means for me all the index value should start from 100 till 104 totally five index values i have assigned it just executing now see the difference in the above example the default starts from zero in this example the index value starts from 100 100 101 2 3 4 like this so that's a new concept hope you are clear about how to create the data frames that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning